My skin is so bad. This always happens when I get stressed, so it's most of the time. <laughs> that wasn't funny. I'm sorry. What's our coping mechanism, Selena? Laughter. Anyways, today's going to be a very different kind of video. Um, I'm going to try and do it differently than usual. I feel like every once in a while I have like a sit down video where I just get really sad and cry. And then a lot of you are really supportive. And then come the comments that are like, oh, so every once in a while you just like sit down and make up stuff so we can get views. And it's like, no, I just thought we were friends like that, which majority of us are. So thank you. Truth is, as the title says, I'm not really doing great. And the one promise that I made from the beginning of all of this internet stuff was I was always going to be <clears throat> as transparent and open as possible because I feel like there's so many people on the internet that are just like always being funny and having a great time. And then out of nowhere, you hear that they're gone or then they come out and say they're not well and it's like but like yesterday you were this way which i get it some of us are different people on the camera than we are off the camera but i just feel like genuinely i i am who i am you know and the truth is i've been i've been going through it also this is my favorite product right now obsessed it's for old skin <laughs> which i don't have but covergirl in a lace simply ageless i love it it's really like buildable update what's the what's the quickest way to summarize this all right let's start with one of them <clears throat> a couple weeks ago i got a call from a travel agency and that travel agency was the one that a family member was using to travel and this family member doesn't really have any other family other than me and my brother and my mom that's it um my dad doesn't really get along with this family member so I knew this family member kept traveling and I thought it was kind of strange because every time they went on the trip, they'd be like, okay, like we're, this is it. I'm going to come back and go back to work after I have to, like I'm, I'm out of money. I'm like, okay, okay. So before this trip, this family member went missing. Okay. Didn't tell anyone they were going on a trip. Went to the house, their shoes were there, their luggage was there. It made no sense. So when they came back, ringed them out. Where were you? I went full FBI mode. I like went to travel agencies. I went to the cab company to figure out where this family member had gone. So they come back. They decide they're going back to the same place again. I get a call from the, from the travel agency saying this family member is very confused. They're on the trip. They're really concerned about them. And I'm thinking, okay, this is, this is weird. So they come home. And I think I was just, I'm living with a lot of guilt that I wasn't more aware of what was going on in their life. T. They hadn't been eating solid food, really. They weren't taking care of themselves. And I started spending time with them that I've never really spent with them in my life because, you know, they're different. Everybody's different. But, like, he didn't have anybody. So it became really clear really, really fast that, that he wasn't well and they hadn't made it to any of their appointments in like two years because they were literally completely forgetting about them all the time. So spending about a week with this person and made it very clear that they were not well. And of course this happens at my busiest time of the year, but this is the beginning of October. So now we're like six days into November. What's happened since then is they've moved into a home. We moved them into a home. Um, a retirement home and I'm just trying to get them to eat more and follow the rules but it's becoming clear really quickly that how bad the situation is like we have phone calls three to five times every single day to talk about the exact same things and they don't think that they're in a retirement home they think that they're in a hospital and it's so scary because I'm the one to blame because I'm I'm the one that put them there like and they think they're getting it back because they love to drive and their license was taken and it's just i've always heard about people dealing with people with alzheimer's but i just never i never thought it would be me i really never thought it would be me and it scares me it scares me because i have so many health issues and i'm related to this person and i did the 23 and me and it said you know i'm at a risk for late onset but this isn't late like so there's that. Then I recently kind of half lost a friend. 
I had someone in my life who like meant a lot to me and no I'm not talking about Sam, Chris, Colby or Adam because I know that's gonna be like the first thing I'm like what but I've just never been so hurt by this person because I considered them like my literal like ride and die there with me all the time and I've had random people that they're friends with reach out to me over the past two weeks and tell me things and I, I just couldn't I couldn't believe it it's just I'm having a hard time coming to terms with the fact that relationships can be different they were they cared about me a lot they were protective of me but after the things I've learned I'm like was was any of it real they never explained you know they just such so many lies I don't know and that's the thing when I told them that like I needed space and I said like why because I've just heard so much they didn't say well what are you here like let me clear that up they're just like I'm here when when you're ready so it's like he said, you know, you know. Anyways, I do so much better on my own anyways, which is sad and weird to say, but yeah. Go. So I'm obsessed with these. They're the YSL, like, I don't know. They're like, I don't want to call them lipsticks. They are, but I don't know what they are. I've been cleaning my house. I've been getting ready for Christmas and stuff like that. But I just, my head, my head doesn't feel great. Ever since Ozempic. Like ever since, I haven't been right. And the interesting thing is I started going to counseling um, for the first time in my adult life, really. And the craziest thing, I said, she's like, when, when did this all happen? And I talked about Ozempic. By the way, this stuff is amazing. The Glossier U, it's just brings out your scent. Amazing. I smell great. <laughs> she said that Ozempic is one of those things that it was prescribed to everybody and now they're seeing all of these crazy lawsuits coming out because it wasn't what people expected and i think having that validation like it messed up with my hormones so bad that i have um this ppmd now or something it's called before my period i i, I count down the days to the week before my period because I know that I can't, I won't be able to function like a human being for like a solid 10 days of every month. Like, I know that I'm not gonna sleep. I know that, plug in the straightener. And then I start panicking because I'm like, oh, well, like, I really wanna have a family. And then I'm like, but I could, I could never have a family being as anxious as I am right now. Like, I know it'll pass and I know everybody's anxious, but I just wish I could get into other people's bodies and I could feel what they were feeling. Because for me, I feel like I'm on fire. It's like if I can't see my dogs, if they're not here right now and in my body, I'm like, they're dead. They're gone. They're either got it. I have to go check. Right now, they're fine. Right now, I'm just racing against the clock because I need to go into town and meet up with my mom. We're going to go see my uncle. But it's like, I'm so behind. I needed my house cleaned, but I'm so behind in work stuff and getting caught up on stuff for other people and and hitting deadlines but like i feel like i haven't been able to live my life for myself for like a month and for me that's really hard because this is like my busiest time of the year i had so many projects that i wanted to do but i just can't do them because i'm worried about everybody else no we're there's just a lot guys there's a lot but the one thing i just always wanted to be with you guys is honest but i thought hey let's take you along for a day with me. So I already fucked up. Um, I fed the dogs and I had my breakfast and I had a shower. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and we will go see my mom. Okay. Babes, I'm not a vlogger. You're expecting too much from me. <laughs> um, I went, I, I saw, I picked up my mom and I went, my dad dropped us off in her new wheelchair van, which is awesome, to the retirement home. So we went and saw my family member, which I think all of this wouldn't be so hard if he didn't think he was going home and that's the hardest part is every day having to be like no like don't you remember you live here and every day he's like yeah well i'm just excited to get home and that's the hardest part you know <sighs> like he never married or had kids or anything and it just makes me so sad so then like after he was done i had to go back home to let somebody in and then i um if you do you see do you see what i've done okay it's fine though because i went to a thrift store i went to restore they take like donations and they sell it and they help like build houses for people in the community and i need this stuff those chairs i've been looking for chairs like that for so long 
for my fireplace room the ones that are in there are super comfortable but they're ugly they're so ugly and they don't go so i'm gonna like paint the fabric black i also got like um this really creepy tote for up in my spooky room and i'm gonna be honest i got a cot because the cottage needs it when people stay over they need a comfier cot and that's my process that's my that was my process on buying all of this senseless stuff <sighs> But I did need it. It wasn't unneeded. I've been really good at not buying stuff. But I was going to go to Walmart because I really wanted to get scrubbing bubbles. But I don't think it works with my ske my skeptic tank. Septic tank. Um, so instead, this is my kryptonite. Okay, you ready? Burger King. I have unmedicated diabetes. I can't eat this. But I'm sad. So I'm going to eat it today. Okay. I've also been making a whole bunch of new friends lately and it's been incredible. I've always just kept my circle so small and I just kind of decided like maybe don't put all myself into them but like get a group of people that I can like call up and I've met so many wonderful freaking people lately and I've just been doing it for the plot. My friend Lord Cord, she's amazing. She taught me that but it's been kind of nice bringing you guys along with me today. So let's, uh, let's do this. We're gonna get a Whopper I think. Oh my god, love this angle. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> um, I'm back. We have the favorite, okay? We got a poutine. It's very bad in the way that there's like no cheese and no gravy, but that's fine. I usually get extra cheese, extra gravy. I'm like, no, babe, you're fine. And then I got the Whopper Jr. Perfect. And then I have some prime. I love the the new one. Blueberry or I don't know, it goes in the dark. Which seems weird to put in your body, but whatever. Um there's so much going on today. We have like a roof leak. So someone's coming for that. My mother-in-law's coming to walk the dogs. And I'm getting stuff out for Christmas to get decorated and stuff. But yeah. I've been binge watching. I have like this thing that I do. Everyone starts new shows, right? No, not me. Not me. I rewatch and rewatch my favorite shows over and over and over again. But it takes so long to get through them. That by the time I circle back, they feel like a new show again. But right now I'm watching Skins. So I don't know if you watched Skins, but it was like everyone was obsessed with Euphoria when it came out. And I was like, hey, wait, Skins. Skins came before Euphoria. It's literally better. It's set in the UK. I love it. So we go Skins, Pretty Little Liars, Schitt's Creek, Vampire Diaries. But some of them take so long to give th get through that it feels new again in the beginning. So that's fun. Mm, Letter Kenny. Can't forget that. But just announced they're having their final season, which makes me super angry. But, mm. but I'm going to enjoy my burger and get some stuff done. And then I'm hoping, well, like, I'm hoping you're going to just stand beside me till we go do Christmas stuff. But hopefully, I'll think of more stuff to talk about and we can hang out. I don't know. Do you like these videos? I just like catching up. Also, Chris is coming next week. I'm so excited. She's my soul, my soul sister. And Jay, I love him so much. They're like my family. So that'll be really fun. Um... Look at me doing stuff. I'm going out Saturday night, which is going to be... I'm excited. <laughs> Do you hear the thunder? Do you hear it? A lot of people are like, seasonal depression, everything is dead and it's raining. And I'm like, seasonal happiness, everything is dead and it's raining. Because that's the truth. I, I really... I love this weather. I like when it's dark. I don't really like when it gets dark early. The clocks fell back yesterday. And when I tell you that had me thrown, it had me thrown. Oh, what are you babies doing? Everybody got new beds yesterday. We have we have Gucci and Eddie and Moe. Oh my God. Look at this. That is an 11 year old dog having her best life. Snorting like a hoss. She likes thunderstorms too. Talk soon. Eddie, you're perfect. I'm sorry, but look at this dog. They're all perfect, but like, oh, big itch, big itch. Oh, look at this funny man. Oh my God. I love you, sir. Man, I have so much planned for today. I have so many things that I want to do. But right now, I'm actually eating sausages and tea. And I'm prepping my reacts and finding reacts and stuff for tomorrow. I'm going to have to film a bunch of videos because my editor, 
who is amazing, Rebecca. I love her. Um, has to take a bunch of November off, so I'm trying to get ahead of the game. I had so much more I wanted to say to you guys, but I just want to be honest. I really appreciate you just kind of hanging out with me today. It was fun to kind of pick up my phone and check in. So if this is something you enjoyed, let me know. I can do one of these every every once in a while, but I want to get more Christmassy stuff. But it looks like it's not going to happen, but that's fine. So that's one thing I want you guys to remember. Sometimes not getting everything done that you want to get done is not a big deal. And, you know, giving yourself the grace that sometimes you're not doing great is really important. So I just want to say thanks for hanging out. And I hope watching this helped you too, maybe. Love you. Yeah, I just realized this is so girl dinner. A cheddar smoky and a tea. I just finished editing that and I realized that the ending was very weird where I told you about my sausage and then left. So I want to say goodbye in a good way. All right. First, my dad was here in the middle of the night last night because my room smelled like burning. And we realized that it was just this garland off gassing. Yes, that is a sleepwalking camera. But the, it was just this off gassing. It smelled like burning hair for some reason. And I know I'm going to get the questions. Where is Adam? By the time you see this, he will be home. But he was on a fishing trip. But also, look, this is Adam and I, and I snuggle these. It's me, and then Adam is the yellow one, and they're little monsters. But I want to end this video on a good note, so I'm going to bring you in for a hug. Okay, you're coming in for a hug. And then and then we'll let her go. Ready? Three, two, one. Come here, big guy. Oh, good night, guys. Love you.